thought you wanted to hold hands. No, you're pissing me off today. I don't want to hold hands. Okay. Okay. Uh, right, we've just had an argument, which is never a good way to start honestly, the podcast. We, we've, we've tried a couple of times after we've had an argument and it has fucked it and it's been terrible. But we've One got, of the times we did put it out, mm, the other time we actually stopped halfway through went recording. Home. But today we have... So much specific stuff to I do. I feel like, that, we like can move oh, we can past so move forward. Can we and, move and, past I, it? and I truly, uh, I have a feeling that five minutes in, we'll be friends. Again. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to hate you anymore. Okay, cool. Oh, hate me. No, yeah, no, I yeah, don't hate you okay. at all. I actually already feel okay, much better. Okay, I feel better, better too. Lovely. Okay, cool. Love right. You. So today's episode, we've got a question, oh, some great questions, but we need to start off with Lewis needs a little bit of a therapy session, don't you, sweetheart? Yeah, a hundred percent. So what we were expecting this episode to be was like really either all about the engagement or like all about me being yeah. freelance and, and then and then questions. Yeah. And Something's actually, happened. <laughs> what happened? Wait, wait, wait. We need to. So basically yesterday. Hang on a minute. What? You're just telling the story. No, now. I'm just saying I'm just setting the scene that it was like it's quite it's quite recent. So. You need to like get it out, and I feel like yeah, it's a 100%. really interesting well, topic to talk about. We're really dragging this out, guys. Yeah, it sort of like does um, relate, like relate to the kind of stuff that we normally talk about anyway. Yeah, it's like it sort of relates to work and to relationships. It's 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 a bit of everything, and it's very interesting. So take it away, Mr. Jones. Well, what I'd firstly like to say is we've spoken on this podcast before about someone just someone sending me a podcast that's how to spot if you're a narcissist <laughs> right we have we've done that okay yeah i know but that, that that doesn't that's not connected that's just your it's not connected but it's but the same thing happened again so we're not going to say any specifics but yes let you need to tell everyone okay. what's all happened right. so i'm all right here's how it goes here's what went down here's <laughs> what went down Yesterday, we're on the train to London. Mm -hmm. We were going up to London, meeting a good friend of yours who mm -hmm. I'm now becoming good friends with, mm -hmm. who, which is lovely. Great, wonderful director. Um, and I love his work. And <laughs> we had and, and, and we were going up to London anyway. Yeah, and great we day. Had a, had, a, had a lovely chance to grab a beer with him, chew the fat for a bit. And then we're going to see your other amazing friends who have now become my amazing friends as well, which is just incredible. Yeah, it was a lovely friend day. The point is, we had, we were like, it was going to be such a positive day, yeah. and it was actually. Mm -hmm. It was, it was such a lovely day. Yeah, had a really lovely time. Me too. So shout out to all those people that we that saw we saw. Yesterday, yeah. Anyway, on the train up to London, I'm just scrolling Instagram, mm. going into my messages. And in my like special hidden messages, whatever it's called, mm -hmm. message requests. That's right. I clicked on it, and there because I don't often get <laughs> no one messages. No one DMs people. me, yeah. and actually, usually when I get something come in my thingy, I I click on it hoping that it's work, mm -hmm. and usually it's like a a guy called like Paolo dot not 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 three, yeah. and he's like. Hey, I'm a brand ambassador for this necklace brand, which has 20k <laughs> followers, yeah. and like it's a scam. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's never anything yet. It's never anything good. Mm -hmm. So anyway, clicked on it, and I was like immediately gassed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was. Got to keep it vague here. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't. I won't say any names, but it was a photographer mm -hmm. with. 40,000 followers on Insta, mm -hmm. which I thought, that's really cool. Yeah. Some, like someone with a decent Instagram following is messaging me anyway. Yeah. I was like, cool, what is, it, what is this going to be? Anyway, it's you can tell, I'm, I'm egging this out. I think it's a good story. Yeah, I think it's a good story, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're, really, you're right. really going for I'm it. I'm really going for it. I'm here for it. I haven't had the chance to really. Like, I've spoken to a few people. I know. It's just, just crazy. But anyway, <laughs> this, is, this one's for the people and I'm really making Okay, it. come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm already like, come on. Okay. So the the message basically said um 
and I can't remember it word for word. So this is like me just mm-hmm. fr- yeah. spitballing, yeah. freeballing, whatever it was. But the the general gist of it, and it was like big message, mm-hmm. was basically like, hey, really like what you do. Like, love your work. I want to be doing... Um, I want to do production mm-hmm. or film. I want to like move into film and I love your stuff and I would love to meet for a coffee and like pick your brains, yeah. right? Which is like, that's what, that's a, no- that's a totally normal thing to send. Yeah. I've sent that to yeah. hundreds of people probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was lovely. Like we were really, um, we were like, oh, that's so cool that so, someone wants. Yeah, so, so you, when we were on, the, like we were on the train I read it, you were voice noting someone and I waited till you were done voice noting. I remember because okay. I was excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, and I said to you, tell me when you've got time to give me some attention. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? I remember, yeah. Because I was so gassed. I know, yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> well, it's just like, it's a nice thing to receive. No, I don't I receive things like that. It's really so, lovely. Anyway, you, you, um, you were like, yep, yeah, now do it. Mm. And I showed it to you and we were both like, that's really sick. So at that point, I was like, this is so cool. Mm. I love that someone random mm. uh, like thinks that I'm doing well enough to want to pick my brains about yeah, the industry. It's, great, yeah. it's like that was so like but you have reaffirming knowledge to share. To so we were like, this is really. Well, yeah, yeah, thank you. No, I do it's think cool. it's not. It was. That's not like unusually weird it's like you are doing stuff that other people would love to know like how well i i appreciate that but even still like when we we get messages every so often from people who are just like this is what i do i would love to work for Mm -hmm. you or i'd love to do jobs with you yeah 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 do you know what i mean yeah but this was like a bit more specific like about me yeah i was like that's really cool that someone like has seen something in me Mm -hmm. that they want to know more about do you know what i mean literally so i was was gassed about it um we had our anyway. day. Oh, uh, no, no, no. There's there's more to say just about oh, that. Oh, okay, sorry. So I showed that to you and we were like, that's really cool. Yeah. And obviously bearing in mind, it's gone into my message request. So mm-hmm. so I was like, I won't deal open with that. It. I won't yeah. open that now. Like mm-hmm. we're we're having a day out. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do my day. And also like, I don't want to look too keen because yeah. I'm a very keen responder. Mm-hmm. Same. And actually I was like, this this person's Let's sit made, on it for a this person's made me feel cool. I'm gonna take some time and totally. feel cool about yeah. responding when yeah. it's when it's right for me. Yeah. Anyway. So then I also said at the time to you, do you remember me saying uh I said I said something along the lines of I do get bad vibes from this person though. Yeah. Just so you know. And I was it's like, like that's I was like, okay, like you've just picked up something on Instagram like yeah. Negative energy kind of thing. So, so what it was. But I kind of brushed that aside. I was like, oh, well, I'm sure. Yeah, it's I mean, like that fine. was just, it was just like by the by, but, yeah. but I want to like tell the whole, no, tell the that, whole thing. And I remember important. saying that to yeah, you. Yeah, that's important. Part. Because basically, what, what had happened was I used to follow this person on Instagram, mm-hmm. and then actually what they were putting out was jarring me every time mm-hmm. I saw it. Yeah. So I just unfollowed. Mm-hmm. But like, they were, like There's obviously no... never spoke to them before like yeah. nothing i just You've i just, just like casually it unfollowed like, like, really like it's I'm not gonna, yeah. it's not doing anything positive for my life yeah. or it's not doing enough for me to see it every day so mm-hmm. i just so I just unfollowed mm-hmm. anyway i was still gassed about receiving it i still understand that like they've got a big following they're like yeah doing good stuff yeah so like that's cool that they want to talk to me for sure anyway okay <laughs> cool so that sets the scene fairly well totally yeah we do our day yeah. We have a beautiful day. Yeah. Um, we're like basically falling asleep on the train after a few beers with Scarlett and Charlie in the mm-hmm. evening. Um, it's like 11 p.m. Yeah, 11 p.m. We're, we're on a fairly late train back. Anyway, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll sort Go out. Res- yeah, respond. Yeah, I'll respond now. It's cool and it's a good amount of time to have like left it. You've just like yeah, been yeah, distracted yeah, yeah. with well, your day. I just, yeah, I was literally just doing my day. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. cool, day's done. Yeah. Let's respond. Like, see what's the vibe. See basically, the vibe is. It bas- and and obviously, like, I the the vibe was gonna be, hey, that's so sweet. Yeah. Thanks so much for saying that. Like, yeah, yeah would love of to. Of course, yeah. What else are you gonna to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
I bet okay. the people listening are like, what is yeah, going, what the on? going on? <laughs> okay, can you pass me your yeah. phone? Because I. Are you going to read it out word for word? Well, yeah, I think so. Why not? Yeah, you may as well. Okay. So, first strange thing that happens is I go into the. Uh, I go into Commonly my. we're telling the story. Message request. Yeah. And the message isn't there anymore. Never to be seen. Never to be seen. Um. But it's been replaced with a message that just says, cool, just unfollow me instead with a peace, peace. sign. Mic drop. So we were both like, sorry, can I just interrupt? Quickly? Yeah. We were, we both, you like showed me that on the train and we were like, what? what the like, fuck? wait, like that is such an act, like what what like it's first of all the message is gone it's completely like they've cancelled the message they've taken it back yeah and they're like so angry that you well actually it's like that's not even angry cool just unfollow me instead i mean it's very like very passive isn't it but i think it's quite like anyway so that was the first message right right and we were like gobsmacked and actually um (laughs) After talking to to a few people about it today, just the people that we've casually mm. seen in our day, mm. the people in the shop and like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't feel as like pent up about it anymore. Good, yeah. Which is great. Yeah, it's great. But when I saw that text. Yeah, we were both quite caught off guard. It was literally just like, where the fuck did that come yeah, from? Yeah. Right? Like, that's so rude. Yeah. Firstly, also, just like, like it's rude. not the right story here. They've got the wrong end of the stick. Well, yeah, that's that's like a whole another thing. Because it's like you didn't... I wasn't following you when you sent me the message, so so they've got that wrong. You've got it wrong, um, but it was just like so weird that someone was being so nice and positive yeah. to me from one message to the other. It's like a, it's like and then a I, completely yeah, different. So anyway, then, yeah. So then I I looked at the message and it, and it was like my heart dropped. I know. I was like, oh well. Firstly, like everything that had gassed me up earlier, like that's completely gone. So gone. cheers for that. Yeah. And also, like, how the fuck are you sending a a a a, a business message? Yeah. And then being that like that immature. Weird. Also, and, it's yeah. a stranger. You're a stranger to them. Literally, I'm a complete stranger. So then tell. So, so then say what you. So I found that. So I found that completely strange. Um, and actually, I don't know if this is. is it, are my responses embarrassing? Nope. Shall I read them? <laughs> you love reading the stuff. Don't I love you? reading the stuff. All right, go on then. So I we help we like craft the message together because we were like, what can we say that's not going to be like sinking to the level of like rude message because you're literally like a business owner. Like we're not going to be like getting <laughs> yeah. print screened, sending horrible messages. Like yeah. that's not what you want to do. But I but did I, feel like this is a good opportunity to, to in in nicer terms, be like, if you're a cunt to people, people are going to know you're a cunt and no one's going to want to work with you. That is the word on our podcast. Are we allowed to do that? I don't know. <laughs> I've done it ten times I have now. to bleep it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so let's just say, so then we said, uh, we, hey, I. you said, hey, slow replies happen in production. Being out with friends, was going to reply tomorrow, laughing face, horribly negative energy here though. Which is like the perfect reply because it's like, first of all, people spend a day to not reply. You need to like be okay with that. Mm, Second yeah. of all, this energy is so horrible. You need to know that it's like not being received well. And completely, I've been out with my friends, like having a nice day. I'm sorry that I haven't like like can handed you to your that message the, straight away. Like that this the is... energy that like someone else. While I'm out having a good time with They're my so friends, cross with you. wants to be sending me messages like that to which, which like <laughs> are going to bring my day down. Also, it's like, I like the fact that you that. said I'm, I was going to reply tomorrow. Like we are, we, like we were going to, you were going to reply. I was going to reply. Yeah. Be like, sure. Okay, guys, we have to, we have to say the next bit. <laughs> okay. So... We felt good about that, didn't we? You felt good about that reply. Well, I felt like it sort of summed up how I felt. Mm. And and actually, I expected to not get a reply back. Mm. And, and, and obviously, like, 
I wasn't even going to like bring up the whole you've got it wrong. I didn't unfollow you yeah. right now. Yeah, like yeah, you've yeah. completely That's got like, this completely wrong and yeah. you're being a bitch about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to say anything. I thought that was, that was like yeah. fine. And like, we're just going to be like, this is negative just, energy. It's like, kind of me being like, just take the L and go. And also like, like and don't, don't, th- this like, is over. Just take it. Like, yeah. let's, let's go. Okay. So then the response was, yeah, I messaged asking if you want to meet up for a chat about production work. Next thing I see, you've unfollowed me. Not Which a, I had, which, which yeah. I did weeks ago. Not a good look on your side. Not exactly sure how to react to that positively when all I've done is try and reach out. So let's just analyse that. Okay. I feel like what they're saying, mm. is, uh, what, what they're feeling yeah. is kind of fair. It's like feel that on mm-hmm. your own if mm-hmm. that's what you think the situation is right but fucking writing that to me it it doesn't matter i'll ask for help from someone else who won't go and hit unfollow as a response if anything you react by avoiding accountability is all i need to know it's good don't bother <laughs> peace sign <laughs> sorry I show my mate. i then. i i like, just like can't believe truly so, so like yes yeah, that someone thinks it's okay to 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 say that to me i know well it's because like, you you would never we don't have like like bitchy fights with people like you're a 30 year old man and you're getting someone in your dms who's approached you and is now having a go at you and being hot nasty yeah so it's like and i haven't, I like, haven't what? said anything i haven't even done anything i know so then we were like They've gone on about the fact that you've unfollowed as yeah. a response. And yeah, I almost yeah. wanted them to know that you didn't do that. Mate, I'm, I was kind of worried that if I didn't say anything back about to that, that yeah. it would be like I accept the fact that's the that, story. that that's the story. And like, you and, know, and, to be respectful, if you didn't want to go, you would have said you wouldn't have just unfollowed like you're not like that. So I no want them way. to know that you're not like that. Right. So also, oh, sorry. if I was... If I was following when that message come through and I didn't want to do it, I at the at very worst, I would have just read the message and ignored yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I would never have unfollowed I mean, because of that. Anyway, this is this so is, year ele- Like, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. even deal with this. I, I, just, can I just say, yeah. I'm loving just like I know. chatting this And I through. hope everybody doesn't think that we're like, I don't know, like talking about this just to like gossip. It's like, it's a really interesting, as the story unfolds, like, yeah. It's a really interesting thing that that what's happened we, here. We 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 kind of want to like analyze yeah, it. I think sure. it's a good topic to analyze. Totally, and it's upset you, and I'm not here for it. We can can get I into say that. the next response? Yeah. I am. Unf- so then, this was you. I unfollowed you a few weeks back when the energy you put out in your story was as bad as this. True. True. The production world is small. Ha ha. Try keep it. Pro- try keep it professional in future. Which I think makes me sound like a twat but (laughs) but it's true it is kind of true it's like i kind of wanted to i knew that was going to be the last thing that i was going to say yeah so i kind of wanted to just like um leave it on like a bit of advice truly a bit of advice like Like, actually if you're going to message people in a professional capacity you can't go down this rabbit hole of being a psycho after also like you might be on a shoot with them. They don't know where their career is going to go. Hopefully it goes up and hopefully they're really successful. But if they start being Larry like this to people on DMs, yeah, mate, they're going to have a like terrible you will time. Bump into people. Your job or production, wherever they are, their photographer, it's all about who you know and being lovely to people. And this is like, I mean, we're talking about it on our podcast, but like we're not going to name them and anything. But, mm. it, you know, we were with two directors that yesterday. And the funny thing is that if, you know, you had met, for a coffee and you liked their vibe of course you would have done you everything to pass it, it on Do you but know what i mean yeah it, it's like it, it's i so liked stupid. the keep it professional in future because it's like we're being we're being wise we're being like respectful and we're just being like take that as the last piece of advice okay the response yes and i've dealt with problematic <laughs> sorry i actually need to start that again Yes, and I've dealt with problematic men like you in the production world before. Not sorry that I post more than selfies. Love your use of soft language, by the way. (laughs) Right. So, 
you are not a problematic man. I know that. I wouldn't be engaged to a problematic man. Yeah. And I think that obviously now there's some gender stuff going on here, so it might be giving clues as to like what's happening. But but talking about their use of their Instagram and what they post and selfies and you being a Which problematic I have man, never, it's like ever you, this is seriously gone haywire on. to work what we were talking about. Like <laughs> we're now in bed eating our chicken ramen noodles, looking yeah. at this message like what? Um and Guys. yeah, I'm not afraid to say that hit me. That hit me where it hurts. We wouldn't be talking about <laughs> it if it didn't hit you where it hurts. Exactly. Like, it it was quite. I mean, I don't want anyone to be nasty to you, but like this is just like you know, a lot of you might be listening and be like, oh, just tell them to fuck off. Like they sound weird. Yeah, so, like, of course we are. Like yeah. well, obviously we are. But I think it was important for us to talk about it because you you did nothing. And you're still being told you're a problematic man who, like, is probably being sexist and annoyed that they're not just post, you know, selfies. And, like, they obviously sound like they've got some issues with their gender in the production world or something. Like, Which I think is fucking is fair. fair. Like, so fair. So fair. But, but, but like... Don't, what's that? That's why is so this not fair on me. Like, Do you know what I mean? That is so not fair on me, I don't think. I mean, I, but like, really what's happened here is... You've unfollowed a few weeks ago. They've thought it was after the message. You didn't even say no to the coffee. I was like, <laughs> you haven't even replied. I've never, I've, we've never mentioned the coffee. They don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. But, Sweetheart. Yeah. So, Mate, I don't know. So, so yeah, so it, it, that, that, that felt weird. Oh, at that point, I thought, I've heard enough now. So totally. we just blocked we left it. Yeah, we blocked. Yeah. We blocked it. Um, but like... I knew I, that was going to be like that though as soon as the first message was so chaotic. It's like... Yeah. They're coming for you, you know? I really feel like I've been... I've uh, th- th- Yeah, that I've been cummed for. This might... This, <laughs> this might stir some controversy because... People might, I mean, I, I have no idea how they could, but like people might be like, you know, you saying, oh, keep it professional, like it's patronizing and stuff like that. But really, truly, every message you sent, I think was giving them advice and giving them the real perspective of what's going on here. That's it. I kind of just we wanted to, to like pull out. this back down to earth. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... This is totally. completely unprofessional now, and like, let's Please stop look because at we're going to bump into each other probably in a year. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, if they're doing well, like, yeah, and and you're going to be like, hi, like, what happened here? Like, what? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, I would never say that, but no. Um, so do you, so you woke up this morning feeling a bit. I woke up this morning still Stung. still thinking about it. I know, and I thought. We've got a podcast about it because I the need therapy to. Therapy session. We need the people yeah. to give us their opinions. What do you guys exactly. think? Exactly. So, so yeah. I mean, like, totally feel free to, to drop your thoughts. I, feel, I mean, as your fiance and best friend and biggest supporter in the world, I literally feel very stung that somebody could be nasty to you when you are so kind, and you would have met them and probably given them a great coffee and great advice and been so like lovely. And I just think it's such a shame. What's um. What's hard for me is that I feel like, and also just to, before I even say that, I feel like me saying this is like very narcissistic, right? right. But I'm still going to say it because it's on. how I believe. Free it's speech like, here. It's what I think and that's, this, that's what we do. They'll, the haters will comment, but we've they just sh- got to... Yeah. Yeah. I think I make more of an effort than honestly the majority of people... Mm-hmm in the world yeah back it to <laughs> well, yeah yeah to to be and to be a good nice yeah, person i totally agree i really think i do everyone who's met you who i know <laughs> we're really getting deep here <laughs> it's like we don't we know that lewis's identity isn't based on this many these messages <laughs> but everyone i know says that you are just extremely lovely and kind. Well, the trouble is, like, maybe something will come out in a bit and, and I won't... get cancelled. Yeah. But it's an but interesting story on, like, mate, it's having to be... You have to believe that this isn't true. You're <laughs> yeah. not a problematic man who's, like, doing all these things. It's all about them. And it's just a funny... It was just a very funny turn of events that it went yeah. from being 
the message that made your day that we were all like, that's so cool. Like if somebody asked me to meet because they want to be an artist and like, I would have fucking loved that. I probably yeah. would have waited three days to just like ride on the high of someone asking because mm -hmm. they want to be like me. It's like, that's so cool. Yeah. So it went from that to this. It's just like, we were like stressed in bed eating our chicken noodles. Just like, <laughs> what? We're arguing with a stranger. Like what is going on? Yeah. I, yeah. I was just like, we were more like gobsmacked. Yeah, we just were. That it just kept it going. Also like, you're 30. I'm in my late twenties. We don't have bickery, bitchy texts. And I mean, you probably never did, but when I was at school, it was like girly tech, you know, the, the bitchy vibes were coming through. I haven't had any hostile stuff like that for so long that when yeah. we're getting these messages, I was just like, yeah. So yeah, that's the story guys. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Same day, yesterday <laughs> morning, I almost had a fight with oh, a bloke no. in the park we about the dogs. We can't go into that. It's just like, oh yeah. Great. Great, you look gorgeous. I've spent half an hour Talk saying the it. story. Okay, should we do the question now? Yeah. Do you want to sum up? Do you want to say anything else about? Well, I just I think... I feel great that we've spoke about it. Yeah, me too. I feel, I feel like a huge weight is off. I've spoken completely freely and um, obviously wish them all the best. Yeah, if they're watching... <laughs> I mean, I they, don't think they'll be watching. Why? I mean, they might see this on on the for you page. Yeah, maybe. I, I mean, I kind of hope they have watched this because we can really tell our side, and maybe they'll take something from it, and they might even DM Ruby and Lewis, and we might make up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, if we make up. But like, we do. We need coffee. an apology here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're probably not going to do the flat white, are we? Yeah, no. Yeah, the flat white is off the table officially. Um. I think, yeah, I think that's that's okay. that's pretty much it. Do you want to read the question or can I read the question? I'll read it. I think we only have time for one question. Yeah, we'll let's do, do the one. Rest. There's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a few piling up, so. This is quite a lighthearted one in a way. <laughs> in a way. All right. I feel like we need something lighthearted now. Ready? Yep. My other half always wants me to take pictures of them wherever we go. Sometimes even at the most mundane of places. <laughs> this is Lewis. Lewis has written in. <laughs> this is your life. It didn't bother me as much at first, but now it's becoming a, a but now it's becoming a little grating, and I'm finding it a bit self-involved. I don't use social media that much, so don't really get it. How would you navigate this? I don't want to hurt their feelings, but also want to enjoy and be in the moment rather than them always documenting it. Right. I have a lot to say about this topic. Sick. And I'm sure you do too. I have a quite a few thoughts about this. My previous relationship, I was in a relationship where the photo thing wasn't okay and I wasn't really met with a lot of support and like, you know, positive vibes when I would ask them to take a picture of my outfit or, you know, take a picture of me in a park or like, it was very, they never wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. I was in a very toxic relationship. So this is a bit different, but not, I was, ne and I, and I always push through because I love taking photos, obviously <laughs> love documenting life. Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to take the photo of our dinner or where we were all the time because I wanted to remember it because I, I thought it was something to remember. So I have quite a like triggering feeling about this because not only did they not want to take my photo, they didn't really want me to be like wearing what I was wearing. They didn't want me to be showing anything on Instagram. Like they didn't have social media either. And the whole thing about like me taking a cute picture of my outfit, they found really difficult because obviously they were very deeply insecure and they didn't want me to be like showing myself. Like they didn't understand why I would take a selfie. Like they were trying to just keep me in this box. Are you, are you okay? I was just going to jump in and say, I don't know that you're necessarily like, it sounds like you might be projecting that onto the person that wrote in. Oh no, I haven't said my point yet. I'm just, cool. okay, cool. So this is, be saying this? no, 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 that's fine. But this is, very separately about you I know, now. yeah. Okay, that, but yeah. I'm just saying that's where I'm coming from. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Okay. So, so like, that whole thing of like, I want our memories to be just for us. 
I find really difficult because them they're like my memories as well so like I felt like I can show whoever I want our dinner and I don't know if it should be on your terms that you don't want to show anyone what we have for dinner like Mm -hmm. I think it's very much like we're separate people and I wanted to celebrate our like pasta and they didn't so but I was like told off a lot for that and I know how it feels to like you know want to feel good and and take photos and to be pushed down so like that's one of my experiences so so it's almost like this question is triggering for you well it's, yeah it, it's not but it's like i'm but hearing like the you're other gonna side have a very, yeah, gonna you're going to have I'm a very the specific other side. feeling yeah. about this i think aren't you and yeah. also the other thing i was going to say is that now i'm with somebody who you who like loves taking photos loves documenting our life and is very like free with like sharing and we're quite open like we've I don't have to run things by you of what I'm sharing online and things like that Mm. so it's almost like the complete and like who wants to take my outfit pics and and now it's like my job so now I'm like doing that with somebody who has is just like yep course because maybe in your mind you're thinking she probably has to do it for the for the her job, but also I really enjoy doing that, right? Uh, yeah, it's more just like, it's not that much effort for me. That's it. Because I, it's it's kind of just like, I know I've got this down so I can just do it. Totally. It's like the yeah. Instagram boyfriend thing isn't hard for me mm. anymore. Mm. It's actually really easy, which makes yeah. it so much less effort to yeah. do. Yeah, but if that doesn't come naturally to you and you know, like this person who's written in, like, you know, you don't enjoy, really, you don't care, like, to make compositional photos and think about backgrounds and, like, you don't, you're not interested in that. Mm-hmm. Then it then I, then it can feel like a chore. You know, sometimes yeah. you can't be asked and I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we need yeah. to do a few more, like, of this pair of shoes for this brand, blah, blah, and you're just like, I just want to eat my dinner now, like, can't be asked. So I totally get that. Yeah. But I only kind of set the scene with that because I've seen completely both opposite sides and I understand kind of both, you know, mm-hmm. even though obviously I was in a bit of a bad situation where like I wasn't allowed to take pics, which isn't very fair. Mm-hmm. This person's not saying that at all. They're just saying they like, that it's prefer, kind of grating. It's, grating it's grating and it's jarring. Them, like, and yeah, I, and I totally get that too. So, yeah. Same. So but, like, what I, would you say? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I totally get, the vibe of like having to take a hundred photos is quite annoying. Like, and you're like dinner's going cold. And you just wanna yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be in the exactly. moment. I, I would imagine that if I didn't use social media, I wouldn't understand why you would want to take pictures of your dinner. Do or, you know what I mean? or like, yeah, or, or like or anything. Or take a picture of yourself. Of the day. Yeah yeah, 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 completely. But I think like we have to just accept that social media is like a part of a huge part of everyone's mm. like well maybe not this person's life mm. but like their partner's life yes exactly it's like it's kind of just like sounds like they like to do they, that they yeah. like doing it so yeah so i guess my point really boils down to like do it for them mm. t- to some extent i guess i guess the thing here is like like we all know how it feels to like well, you know how it feels to so like me be like, can you take a picture of me over there? And it's like, there's people there and you're a bit embarrassed and you're like, oh, but you just do it anyway. Yeah. Like maybe there's a middle ground you could communicate. You need to communicate about this because you're 100%. writing into us. So it's obviously an issue. Yeah. But like there, I do know that there is a middle ground between subtly doing it and picking the moments. Like, of course, there's been times where we've been away or, or somewhere and I want a picture standing over there, but I just know I'm not going to stand up in front of all those people or like, I know that you're tired and hungry and we need to sit down. Mm-hmm. You kind of have to pick your moments. Yeah. And if, if you're finding this jarring, maybe they're not, maybe their partner isn't being very aware of that. Yeah, like, like understanding Maybe you could say that. to them, yeah. look, you love your Instagram, you love your outfit pictures. I, I, I can't be asked, honestly, but I love you. <laughs> So I will do it for you, but can we like come to some middle ground where like it doesn't consume the day? Maybe you do them at the beginning of the out of the outing, or or like you know have that kind of like like um, compromise where you both kind yeah. of know it's okay. Dude, it's, it's such a good point. It's like the communication is key. 
like it fucking boils Fuck, down I mean, to. We say every this time. every time. It's so it's boring. Like, yeah, talk talk about mm. it. Work out what what you can do and what they can do yeah. to make things easier for both of you. And like, like maybe you have boundaries. Maybe you say, do you know what? When we go out for dinner, yeah, yeah. I actually just want to like eat dinner and chat, and I want to do your outfit pick before we sit down, mate. So we, I can eat my dinner when it's hot. You know, we have never said that we have to do this, but we tend to do your outfit shit as we walk out the front door, yeah. we lock the door. I do it outside we the door. We do it outside the so door. So then we can just and then enjoy we get the, in the car. I know, yeah. Or and, then we walk down the road and get on the bus. It's like yeah. that, that's like... And I've like walked up to Lewis before, or like say you're waiting in the car somewhere and I'm like, oh, I forgot I need to do a video of my outfit for this brand or something and I know that he's hot in the car he's waited for me outside the post office and I know you're not going to want to do it mm. so then I'll be like right maybe I'll wait until we get out of the car at home and then he can just do it quickly yeah, then it's like yeah, you have yeah. to kind of tune into the other person because it is like it's not as fun for them they don't you know they don't care they don't want to do it yeah for you yeah 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 what I also find is like if I'm outwardly grumpy about having to do it mm. the vibe is so shit man. Oh, it, it, it's such a it's, shit vibe it's like, like two photos and done and i'm like well they're just not you're not your yeah. heart's not in it yeah yeah yeah. if my heart's not in it, it really mm. it really shows like not just for the photos but like that interaction that we have yeah, then it's, it's is hostile, hostile yeah. and horrible and like i don't want to do that to I you know. so i i've actually got to the point where I would rather just say, like, now is not a good time for me. Mm-hmm. Can we do it later? Yeah. Rather is there than, any way we can do it later? Yeah. yeah. Rather than, like, just doing it with a frown on. See, that like, really, sounds like, like that's what you're doing, who's on. written in. Yeah, it's like, you're, and, and that's not good, because you're obviously... They'll pick up that you can't be bothered. Mm-hmm. You're starting to get annoyed about it. You need yeah. to say... It's just Look, like... It's a, really, that, it's not, that will just go round and round yeah. and round until someone snaps. And it's meant <laughs> to be a nice thing, like... If you think, if you change your perspective and be like, do you know what? This is something my partner really enjoys Mm -hmm. and I want to celebrate them. And you might How amazing that your partner wants to, feels good, feels so good about themselves that they want to have photos taken that they put online. Like, I I think it's really great. Yeah, because some people, you know, don't want to do that. And yeah. And that's fine. But you have to think about it as like you're celebrating them, celebrating themselves. Uh huh. Yeah. It's just like you you if you look at it as supporting them mm. in like even if it's not a business venture mm. it's oh, yeah. like just support totally. them in how they feel about yeah. themselves you know i the thing is though, like the whole instagram boyfriend like boyfriend in the back like i've listened to podcasts where someone's written in about it we actually listened to one quite recently i told mm. you about it and the people were like just do it just fucking do it like you're the boyfriend you're the boyfriend in the back or you're the girlfriend in the back you need to be shooting your partner like just do it and it's like i i do understand that if you're not into that and and if I people want loads and loads and loads of things relationships yeah. just doesn't work anyway no you have it to will always put barriers up yeah. if you're just if the answer is just do it it's like totally. that's not good enough whatever it is completely um i do have one interesting Mm -hmm. um idea about how you could make that more fun and less jarring yeah get a 35 mil film camera (laughs) yeah and you take one snap every Mm. every opportunity is a nicely thought through snap maybe they don't want that maybe they want to put it on their story do you mean you could do both that's quite a nice way of you getting more into it yeah, that's true. Like, you could just try and I enjoy like photography. Idea. Do you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? That yeah. kind of, but I guess, yeah, we take stuff on the film camera and then I do also take, do like, if you need something to post now, then I'll put it, I'll do it on the phone as well. But you don't mind doing it. Yeah, exactly. You're I not like, mind. I mean, I can't well, speak Well, it's not jarring for me. It's not jarring. See, that's the issue. Yeah. This is jarring for this person. So yeah. it's actually, I've, I've gone so far the other side now that even when people are looking like, I'm care. smiling at them like that while I'm like <laughs> taking pictures of you. I'm like, ah. do you know what I mean? I love you. Yeah, I know. We're, like, oh, we're very over. I'm the, the boy in the back. I'm the Instagram boyfriend, yeah. yeah. Um, we're kind of over it like to the point where... But like, I think that's because it's clearly like, that's your job now. It's work. It's, and it's changed and it's, like, it. Start, yeah, it yeah. started to feel more legit mm. for some reason. And it feels like more like you less kind of, of have more question. right to do it yes, in the street. Exactly. Yeah. It's like it's like we're actually doing branding here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which sounds stupid, but like yeah. it does it makes you feel less embarrassed to do yeah. it. Yeah. You know. The other thing I was gonna say is like the person that's written in has said 
um, that it's like mundane places. So you're obviously like, why do you want a fucking picture in a car park, right? Mm. But it's like, it means something to them. Like they obviously think it's a vibe or they want to show that. So, you know, whether you're on holiday and it's like the sunset, you might be like, oh, okay, yeah, I will take a picture of you because we're at the sunset and it's like, we're in Mykonos, whatever. <laughs> but like, actually they might think that that's just as cool them getting in the car in a car park. Like you can't yeah. really... Like, you're obviously confused, but, like, you have to kind of look at it as it's all the same thing. And, like, they obviously, this is something that's, like, important to them enough to, like, keep asking you to do it even when you're getting a jar. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very interesting topic. Yeah, it is. I honestly think the, 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 the best situation for everyone mm. is that the person that writes in tries to enjoy photography or yeah no i know well you have to have a choice really do you unless you decide yeah. i'm not going to do it and then it's just like you can't it's just really it's a yeah, part well, of I life mean, i guess like if we look at it from the other way imagine if they loathed doing it so much that they had to say like hey i'm not doing this well, anymore what, what i'm like, confused what, about how, is how like that go? you're saying that you're jarred by it so they must be asking you to take quite a few pics maybe the middle ground is like you do one or two of their yeah, outfit. Maybe like they're asking you off, to do 30. You know. We don't know. Yeah. So like it only takes a second. If if really if you're if you're meeting halfway. Oh my god. It also, can't be that annoying. Also, I am smashing Oh the, I know. Do you know what I mean? We do it in 10 seconds yeah. because I'm I'm doing 10 like that while you're moving yeah then i zoom in a bit we get some of the yeah. zoomed in i'm picking out the He's details so, and, then we, and then we are done. done it takes under a minute yeah sometimes a minute yeah but you're like you've got it to the point where it's so quick that it's like it doesn't it doesn't matter yeah. does it yeah but i like, think they're you asking you to it, take too many you, yeah maybe you're right maybe I, you're I can't right. imagine it being that annoying also do it on their phone fill up their camera roll so that they yeah. have no memory it will become annoying for them to have so many pictures yeah. <laughs> so then it's like you throw it, it back on be. them it won't be. They, then they've got to start going through and deleting then they'll be like hey should we just take one good one mm. snap done that took a second the other thing you could do is say hey we're going to we're going to the park today whatever like are you like what's your plan like do you want a picture of your outfit should we just do it now like actually mm. plan it a bit more like if they're really trying to do this all the time every time you go out yeah manage it and be like i don't want to be standing in the park doing this for an hour i want to do it you know 100 percent. she doesn't have anything to say well done mate so Seriously i hope that's up. helpful and i hope it was an interesting like answer for you you've yeah. got to talk about it have to talk about it that's the that's the, the the main thing really isn't it should we wrap it up yeah it's 45 minutes cool well thanks for writing in guys we've got some more juicy questions that we're gonna do should we do another There's... one tomorrow oh fuck yeah i don't know when's this going out don't know. Week. we'll talk about we'll it talk after. afterwards yeah, yeah. All right. We're back, baby. We are back. <laughs> we are back. And you're the Instagram and the, you're the boyfriend in the back. I'm the boyfriend in the back. And I'm also the boyfriend who's getting horrible DMs from nasty people. <laughs> I can't. I need to go and make him feel better now. I love you. I love you. Thanks for listening. And Bye, see you next week. Oh, and we're going to put it on Apple Podcasts, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, we're we gonna are. We're going to do that. Well, they'll already be listening Bye. on Apple Podcasts, Bye. maybe.